freshly sandblasted 8.5 rear end. Yeah, the uh, the friction material is like the only thing right there that is not that color. Did you hear what he charged me on this thing? Mm -hmm. $40. the day I put these assassin bars on there but my truck setup is just so low and these assassin bars have five holes of adjustment here and I've always had it in the middle hole 
excess bracket hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the highest mounted hole to where it's away from the ground as far as it can be. And I'm gonna cut off the rest of that on both ends. I'm gonna cut this all off of there. We've got the whole back end took apart. Swapping from the ZR2 rear end right here to this two wheel drive 8.5 rear end right there that came out of the ZQ8 truck that we was parting out. I am cleaning up the rear end of the frame and painting it with Raptor liner, row bar, and chassis. Gonna do a new fuel filter, new fuel tank strap, a couple little odds and ends. I thought this was a great chance to document what I've got going on. This was a, is a drum brake rear end. This is a disc brake rear end. They are both 8.5s. This is out of the ZR2. It's much wider than the one out of the two-wheel drive 435 speed truck. So what I plan on doing is taking the backing plates here, cleaning them up, taking everything off of here, putting the backing plates onto there. I think it's going to work like that. I hope it works like that. If it doesn't, I will have to figure out something else because I must have my disc brakes on the rear end. I am going to try and install a hydro handbrake. I'm going to try and install a inline hydro handbrake and not a two caliper handbrake setup. This is the narrowest rear end that you're gonna have in an S10. That's the widest. Um, I had that in my truck for multiple reasons. One, it was the strongest, biggest, best rear end that you could have. And this is a V8 slot truck, so that's what I wanted. And I wanted to keep an S10 rear end. So um, this one is also the strongest rear end that you can get, maybe a little bit stronger. These are the axles out of each of them. I say a little bit stronger. This one is wider down here, but it's longer. And with things that are longer, there's more twisting action going on. That one's more likely to break right here than that one is because it has less shaft that it has to twist. This one has my Eaton True Track differential in there with 373 ring gears. This one has the factory G80 differential with 308 ring gear. I'm also going to keep this 308 and swap that Eaton True Track into there. Mm -hmm.